Good morning from one of the worst hotels in the world. We had quite a night with all the bugs. I definitely didn't fall asleep until about 3 a.m. I don't know about you. Yeah, I'm really tired. <laughs> but we're about to pack up and head out, and then we're gonna try to take a grab because it's like three times cheaper, four times cheaper than taking a taxi. All right, success. We found a driver. We had to put it way down the street, and so he said he's gonna wait in Alpha Mart down the street. We are racing down the end of the street, hoping to find this Alpha Mart before this guy leaves because we don't think he's gonna stay very long. So. Fingers crossed. All right, today's turning into a success. We paid the Grab driver 152,000 rupiah, which is about half of what we would have had to pay with a taxi. Just to put that into perspective, yesterday, when we were trying to get back to our, our hotel from the elephant caves, it would have cost about the same amount. Like if we took a taxi. It's just like yeah, it was like a five minute drive, would have been 150,000. This was like an over an hour drive for 152,000 using Grab. And then we just bought our tickets to Nusa Panita. It was only 31,000 each. So it was like $4.30 total. So that's really cheap. We're getting breakfast right now. And hopefully we don't miss our ferry because it leaves in an hour. And we're at this cool little place. It's just like this woman's kitchen behind us. And then a couple tables. But it's right on the water. We can see it from here. We both got banana pancakes. and omelet. Yeah. This is Megan's banana pancake. We've been having so many banana pancakes, but they're so good. And this one has honey on it. So those banana pancakes were really good and it was 20,000 in total, which is about $1.40 US. So extremely cheap. And I can't believe how cheap that was. It's like, what is that, 70 cents each? Yeah, and it was just like some woman's kitchen. It was really funny. So we're gonna go wait for the boat to Nusa Panita. We got about 50 minutes before it leaves, hopefully. We've heard conflicting things about when it leaves, so we'll see. Now we wait. in Nusa Panita. We're now looking for Wi-Fi so we can figure out a place to sleep tonight because we have not even booked that. <laughs> so I was expecting to find Wi-Fi at a store, but somehow we came across it right here in the middle of the street for free. So we're trying to find a place now, just standing here. I have a feeling we're gonna get asked for a taxi every couple seconds because I'm standing here with all my bags and my phone, but now we're gonna look for a place to sleep tonight. So the Wi-Fi ended up not working, and then if we found a place, and every time we got to the end screen, it would say it can't complete the booking. It's about a 40 minute walk, so we're just gonna walk there and try to find a room when we get there, and hope it's still available. It says one room left, but you never know with the internet. But it actually turned out to be a really beautiful day. The sky's really blue now. It was raining this morning, so that's really nice. So it'll be a nice walk. We just got to the room. It was weird because Megan just noticed it on the street and we were about halfway on my maps to where we were supposed to go. And so my maps are completely wrong. So I'm lucky Megan pointed it out. But we came and they're a little confused and they don't really understand that we don't have a booking. But they let us into our room and they said we can pay in a bit. They're getting our welcome drinks right now. The pool looks really nice. And so everything's working out. We are now looking for an ATM to pay for our room. The guy at our hotel told us that it's one kilometer this way. So we've walked about a kilometer, we just stopped and asked a woman, and she told us, oh yes, it's one kilometer this way. So, that could just be the thing to say here. I was right, I just asked somebody else, and he told me it's one kilometer this way. At least he gave me a name, B&B &B Bank, or something like that this time. So the ATM did not work, we tried a bunch of times with two different cards, weren't able to take out any cash. But we ran into a girl that was on our ship, and so Megan asked her if she had any idea where a bank would be. Luckily she had cell service, so she looks them up and she saw a bunch on this road, and this bank is closed. We found a currency exchange, but the guy said they were closed, and there was an ATM, but it was for locals only. Our last chance, a money changer and a chicken and steak store, and it is closed. So unfortunately, we ended up wasting a lot of time tonight trying to find cash, and we did not succeed. So we're hoping that they'll let us just stay tonight. I'm sure they will, and we'll pay them tomorrow. But tomorrow we'll have a nice full day in Nusa Panita and do a lot of stuff. 
and give a tour of the hotel. But later we'll probably try to find food. So we're back at the hotel now. We just talked to them and we can pay tomorrow. Here's a quick little tour of the outside, but I'll show more tomorrow in the morning when it's daylight and much nicer out. This is not a good place to be low on cash. We went looking for dinner a little while ago and every single place only accepted cash. Even the convenience stores wouldn't take credit cards. And so we're gonna go to bed hungry tonight, which is a little unfortunate, but luckily this hotel provides free breakfast in the morning, so I'm looking forward to that. So today turned out to be a little less eventful than I had wanted and we didn't get to do much on Nusa Pineda when we got here. And it took a long time to get here, much longer than I expected. But that's just something that comes with the territory of traveling. Some days just don't go your way, some days just take a little longer. And so that's just something that you gotta deal with when you're traveling. I'm sure tomorrow's gonna be a lot better.